Hey Ashley, so we are over here at 25597 Mount, uh, Mount Pleasant Road. So Mount Pleasant Road is actually it's really close to 68, which you can get from the Fort Dix Gate um, right by the base. It's nice, uh, kind of like country back road. You'll see a lot of corn, corn stalks and all of that. Um, it is, if, you can probably hear the traffic just a little bit. Every once in a while, a car drives by. There is a main, it is a main road. It's a windy road. It's really nice. Um, but you do have a little bit of that, okay? It's stepped back away, so not a huge issue. Currently, there are renters in the place, and so they're move, they're on their way, moving out, and so it's something that we can definitely uh, see when you guys get here. So we'll take a look inside, all right? Okay, so you enter through the living room. You have another nice um, bay window. You can put some plants, things like that in here. Built-in bookshelf. I like that little bit of that stone accent on that wall too. And then you have your standard coat closet when you walk in. So through here, you have the option to go upstairs to the bedrooms. Downstairs to more additional space. But check out this great open kitchen layout with the vaulted ceilings in that living room space. You have a lot of counter space. It's something that you can easily update these countertops. You can paint them in the meantime, paint the cabinets, add new hardware. Just give it a nice little facelift. Um, you can always add a backsplash as well. I do love those ceilings and the beams. And then we'll, we have nice flooring as well. Don't mind my toes. <laughs> and then, okay. The right door. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so we need a little handle there. Handle there. No worries. Um, so this is a quite big deck, actually. Uh, you can always repaint this as well. All right, wow, it's a lot of space. You see down there, there's their sunroom as well. They got the little doggo out here. Nice patio. This is great space. And then look, it backs up to some more farmland there so you don't have anyone behind you. And here they have the pool as well. And then the raised space. So yeah, they have a dog here too. Obviously dog-friendly neighborhood. Hey, buddy. All right, and we're going to go back inside. So let's go ahead and go downstairs first. We're coming off the kitchen again. So through here, we have some living space. You could, again, you could paint these wall, These You can either put up new drywall or just paint these like a nice light gray or something like that. This is an awesome space. We have some storage that should be under the stair. Oh, yep, just a nice another closet. You could almost use this as a big room if you really wanted to. You turn on some lights. So we have a little hallway down here, a full bathroom. So that you could definitely use this as could have used that as a bedroom because you do have a full bathroom, double vanity, and you have a shower as well. Okay, this is going to be where your uh, AC unit, and so that's why it's a little loud. All right. Okay, through here, we have the laundry. So you have an actual room for this, which is also nice. And then you have a sink again. Your electrical panels over there. This is just another door to this one room. The pool room, pool table room, okay. And this also has a sliding door to this extra room. So this it looks like this was originally a two car garage and they converted half of it as almost like a second entryway. All right. So you can have people enter from here and this is right where the driveway is. So I'm gonna pan this around so we get a better idea. So here we have, again, your driveway. Uh, you can fit probably about six cars, I would say, in a side-by-side -side six cars. You have that little side yard that goes to the back, and then that's going to be your full garage right here. Okay, and then up there is where your front door is. But yeah, you can have people just come in here to party when you're entertaining. And then 
through here is going to be your garage, okay? Uh, lights, 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 okay. The light is not working, but it is a full one-car garage. They have it for storage. And there's a little bit of workspace up there as well. And then through here, we have that double slider through the sunroom. They did have a hot tub in here. I guess it's broken, so that would just need to be removed. But this is a really great room. You have all this light, all these windows. You can put some plants in here, nice little reading space. You see that they have a fire pit here, out here as well. Nice. I like the, the pavers for the backyard. All right, and then we're going to head upstairs, okay? All right, coming from downstairs, now we're going to go upstairs. Again, these are some nice original wood floors up here on this level. So here is bedroom number one. Cute room. I like the pink choice. I don't know if that definitely matters, but it helps. And then just a standard closet. Perfect for little ones or for a guest. Okay, bedroom number two, they're using this one. This is the master, so you have the double closet as well. Okay, all right. Bedroom number three is closest to the bathroom. We have a standard closet here, double windows, nice little corner room. And then you have your bathroom, too. I, I don't mind the purple, actually. It's <laughs> so you have an updated vanity, at least. And this is just a standard shower ins insert. So you probably just want to replace the insert, which you can get for a couple hundred bucks. You could always reglaze the tile if you didn't prefer that. Um, and this has those cool old mirrors, you know. Okay, so this is three bedrooms, two baths. The full bath is downstairs with that extra bonus room.